GOP strategist, Hadley Eve Manning, independent women's voice, senior policy analyst, and Danielle McLaughlin, attorney. I guess a liberal commentator is a good way to put it. Um, so, Kathy Lynn, to you first. What well, do you think know, what the, Neil, the president you? was trying to say? Look, the people have spoken. You might not like it. I don't like it. But you have to honor it. Yeah, as I, I was saying, sorry, I, I misheard you there. Uh, but youth is a, a wonderful thing. But you know what's even more wonderful is freedom. And what I would encourage these students to think about is it's wonderful to use your voice, but it's important that they get educated on the mechanisms that have sustained freedom in America for hundreds and hundreds of years. And then go get active. Don't just yell out, but get active. Intern at your local congressperson's office. Go be a congressional page. Um, but have respect and education and understanding for the process before you speak out so you can really make a difference. You know, the MTV, uh, for, the outgoing MTV president, Sean Atkins, he said a great thing, I think. He said, millennials disrupted this generation. The next generation, he calls the rebuilders. They're going to rebuild it. If these, right. if these high school students who are these rebuilders want to do that, they've got to understand how freedom but is first, built and preserved first in this go to country class, first. But first go to class. Danielle, here's the one thing I didn't understand about the high school kids. And God bless them if they're passionate and energized, even though most of them aren't old enough to vote. Do you think they were put up to this? Do you think that they were arguing on behalf of illegal actions to protect and cover for illegals who are here? No, I don't, Neil. And I think that line is something that has been said about uh, grown-ups who've been protesting in the street. You know, what Kathy said is true about democracy, but also the right of assembly and speech. And these children and these young people don't have the right to vote, but they do have the right to voice and opinion and to be part of the democratic process. Do you think this came talking. to their own free will? That this was something they felt and they just went out there? Yes, these are children who have dreamers in their classrooms, who are part of diverse uh, schoolyards, and they know that the children who are possibly at threat under a Trump administration. Our children, it's like, it's like being the child of a heroin addict. You can't sh blame the child for the addiction. You can't blame these children for being brought here. And I think these millennials, or these, uh, I guess, young millennials, want to give these diverse classmates right. an opportunity. Fair enough. Hadley, obviously, whether you're on this particular side of the issue or not, we've seen a great deal of protests and some outright riots, particularly in Portland, Oregon, elsewhere, where they've done a great deal of damage and, and, and taken on the police firsthand. But, uh, Obviously, the president, whatever you say about him, spoke eloquently this need that we have to accept election results and move on. Hillary Clinton said as much in her concession speech, but we're not moving on. And I'm wondering if this is spreading out further and what can be done, if anything can be done. Sure. Well, violence and destruction are not going to move us in the right direction. They're not going to bring the country together or unite anyone. But as far as peaceful protest goes, you know, this is about groups of people in our country who feel that their voices have not been heard. But it's a two-way street here, Neil. There's a lot of people who voted for President-elect Trump who feel that they haven't been heard or they haven't been represented fairly or, or their concerns aren't being addressed by the current administration. That's why it was a change election. And I, I hope that these young students and anyone else who's protesting will, yeah, Yes, want to be heard, but they'll also want to hear what people are saying on the, on the other side. All right, of the real quickly, Kevin. And the other thing I was left with that they seem to be pre-protesting an administration that hasn't even come into power yet, hasn't done anything yet. That's right, right. And I think um, it's an important point that was just made, which is it's great to um, be heard, but we also All have right. to hear. We have to listen. And if you look at President-elect Trump's uh, business experience and you look at his first week, well, it tells a different story than we what they're see. protesting. We he had a very see. productive first week. Let's give the guy a chance, right? All right, ladies. Thank you all for this breaking news. I apologize.